Hi friends, welcome back to our channel. Today in this video, we will see how we can generate aged receivables and aged payables report in order 15 accounting. So inside the accounting module, you can find the reporting module. Here you have uh, all the partner reports. Uh, like this includes partner ledger, aged receivable and aged payable. So here we can open our aged receivable report, which shows the sales invoices that were awaiting payment during a selected uh, month or several months. You can see here, we can filter this report by uh, today. If you want to view the report of uh, today, you can choose that. Then end of last month, then last quarter, last financial year, or we can add a custom date. So we can choose a custom end date and we can apply it like uh, here, if you want to view report of uh, with end date December 2nd, you can apply and view from here. So uh, here we can see we already have some uh, data like you can view the payments awaiting uh, for customer Azure in India. Here we can view his related invoices, uh, the due date, the total uh, amount in currency. Then for Bowman, you can see we have some related credit notes, invoices, then for Deco edit. So here you can unfold and view the details. And below you can find uh, the total amount also. So now let's create a new customer invoice. And here we can choose the invoice date, then due date. So I'm setting this as it's already due. And here, let me add some product and confirm the invoice. So invoice is generated and it is confirmed, but the payment is not done by the customer. And this is already due. Now, when you check the aged receivable report, here we can see a new customer is added, open book. And here we can find the related invoice, uh, the due date of the invoice, and the total amount that need to be paid by the customer, currency. And here we can find the account. So here we can click on this and view the journal entry or we can change expected payment date. So when you click on view journal entry, here we can find the uh, invoice details. And we can also directly register the payment uh, if the payment is done by the customer. So you can see this in payment. So after reconciliation, it will move to paid state. So let's create a bank statement and reconcile. So after adding journal date, here we can add the transaction line. So here we can find the uh, customer payment is matched with this statement and now we can validate it. So now we can see that customer uh, that related invoice is removed from this age receivable because the payment is done by the customer. So there is no due. So that's how we generate this age receivable report. And we can also filter uh, this report by partners. Like if you only want to view the report of the customer, Azure Interior, you can see 
method then by adding tags and here we can find option to unfold or like if uh, the report is not unfolded you can simply unfold it by using this option and we can generate like we can uh, download the pdf for xls report and we can save it to our documents module like if you click on save you can export it as pdf or xls and you can uh, store it in documents by providing a documents name so here i am moving it to the folder finance and if i click on export you can see that is moved to our documents module so you can find that report from uh, the workspace finance here we can find that report so you can open it and view so that's how we generate aged receivable report now here we have aged payable report so uh, this report displays information on individual bills uh, when the credit notes and the payments owed by you and how long these have gone unpaid so here we can find the partners that is our vendors and you can find the related vendor bills when you unfold this and you can view the due date of the bill the amount the currency then so if vendor bill is generated so here i'm choosing a different vendor and you have to provide the bill date and then here then due date of the bill you can see it is already due so if the bill is generated and if you haven't made the payment then this will be shown in the aged payable report so here we can find that vendor and related bill so it is already due and we haven't made the payment so you can see the amount that need to be paid is 632.50 and the currency so here we can also change the expected uh, payment date so here we can see the updated date that is expected date and in the same way we can uh, save this in documents and we can download this report as pdf or excel as directly from here so these reports are really helpful because we can track the unpaid customer invoices and the amounts you owe to your suppliers or for expense claims and if they are overdue so that's all for this video and if you have any doubt uh, regarding the generation of customer invoice or vendor bill we have done a video on that you can check the link about to know more about it and if you're looking for any odoo implementation or customization in your business you can drop a request to odoo@cybrosis.com